It is raining, raining hard out there. I have a nail appointment for 6 p.m. today. Yeah, I know I'm crazy and it's gonna be cold, but it was the only time that she could get me in. I think they're very busy for the coming new year. So that's okay. I need to get my nails done. They are Christmas themed and growing out and chipping and the whole nine yards. So oh, I'm gonna bend down and pick up my Kleenex. So got my tree up. I think I'm gonna do some laundry. Then I'm gonna sit down and color. Um, I'll take you with me to the bathroom so I can put some makeup on because I do want to do a video today and I think that video is going to be my favorite products, things that I love to use from like, you know, like shampoo and conditioners, like my holy grail beauty items, maybe, I don't know. I don't have that many things that I use that are changed up that often. That's why I don't do monthly favorites. So this will kind of be maybe a monthly favorites. I don't know. I don't know, don't hold me to it. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but I am gonna put on some cover up because my face is a little red and I don't like that. I'll turn it around and show you. Okay, so I look like that. I am wearing just a grungy December's t-shirt. I have a roller on. I put on my putty primer from e.l.f but I still need to put on a little bit of cover up because I look a little red. So let's go to the bathroom and do that. And um, yeah, I can't believe it's raining. It's been raining for days, like days. And it's been really cold and don't come for me. I live in California, we're not used to this. So let's go get my makeup on. You are literally in my medicine cabinet. So I'm just gonna wet my beauty blenders. But what you're looking at is the back of my bathroom. So that's the wall. Why am I telling you this? I don't know. Okay, so let's put on some of the Tinted Hydrator Skin Veil. And this is just the Wet n Wild one. I'm not doing the, I'm just doing this one because I'm going around town and I don't need that good coverage. So I'm just gonna kind of smoosh it on. And then I'll go in with my beauty blender. I got burned really bad yesterday. Um, it hurts. So, washing it off my hands. And I like to let it sit for a few minutes so then I can go in and get it all worked in with my beauty blender. So I just kind of go in with the big one and just kind of do that. Let me get my mirror. I love this mirror. It's a really good mirror and it works really well because it's just got a really good um, shape to it. It's not round, it's square so it's bigger. And I'm not really doing my eyebrows because I'm not really doing anything to my eyebrows because I'm going to get those waxed today. So that looks pretty good. And I'm going to go in with my concealer and find it. Hold up. Concealer. And this is just the Mega Last Incognito Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to go in like that. I'm not doing any eyeshadow today. Because I don't feel like it. That's about it. And we're going to go in. close my eyes while I'm doing this. And pretty much 
much done. It's a little red right there, but it's okay. I'll put a little bit more there. I don't like the way that looks. grunge look today we'll do a nirvana t-shirt we'll do this grunge sweater jeans my vans and some silver jewelry so i think that'll look really cute and comfy and uh let's get to dressing and there we go i have a necklace on my bangs still need to be dry and i have this you know um faux diamond hoop earrings they're like fake you know just custom jewelry but i think it looks really good jazzes it up a little bit so i'll let my bangs dry and i'll get ready to film something for you guys i don't know what it's going to be but we'll see i should have let my bangs be in the roller a little bit longer because they look kind of flat but it is what it is so i'm just going to watch i am a killer i'm going through the series you guys keep hearing me and then i'm going to watch um mad off i really really want to watch that so mad off i am a killer I'm going to dress my dolls because they're sitting on my bed. I think I'm going to rotate my dolls. I think Bristol is going to go up on my shelf and I'm going to bring down another doll. Hold on, guys. This is terrible lighting. I think the lighting is better. Or maybe not. If I kind of sit right here, could be a little better. I don't have you on my tripod. So these vlogs are just day in the life vlogs. Um, nothing fun, nothing glamorous. Just me going around town, going to get my nails painted. Um, I really wish I could try, I tried press on nails before and I think they look so good. You know, the impress nails, the nails that everyone uses. I think they look so good. I hate my bangs right now. I think I'm just going to push them to the side. My mom hates it when I do that, but they're looking terrible today. So I'm just going to push them to the side. So I think I really want to, um, what was I going to tell you guys? Oh. I really want to try impress nails, but I've tried them in the past and they don't work for me. They come off in a day. I don't know how these people get their impress nails, their fake nails to last for like a week. Cause some people say that I can get these to last for a week. And I'm like, I can't. And regular nail polish doesn't stay on my nails. So I get my nails done every two weeks and I really enjoy it. I really like it. Um, cause it's just easy. I go, I get them done. I don't have to you know, do them myself at home. Cause I used to do my nails myself for years and years at home. And then I wasn't able to because I started um, doing nanny life and I didn't want to paint my nails 
because I was afraid that the nail polish would chip off when I was changing diapers. <laughs> I was worried about that. So I started getting gel nails and that allows me to wash the dishes, to um, do chores. They don't chip, they don't break. And for going every two weeks to get my nails done is a, is a nice treat. It's the only thing that I do for myself. Um, so it's really funny that I really want to wear the fake press on nails because I think the designs are so cute, but they don't work for me. And then I thought it would be fun to maybe try doing gel nails at home. But by the time I buy all this stuff, the UV lamp, the nail polishes, it's going to cost just as much money as a manicure. So I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with getting my nails done. It's nice and it's relaxing when I go, but I hate taking the time out of my day to do it. It takes like an hour, which isn't a lot, but you know, I could be doing something else. So I have like this love-hate relationship and first world problems. You're like, don't get them done then. But I like to have them done. I, I like to have my nails done, but I used to do it myself. And I used to do designs and I used to do really cool, funky things. Um, just, I used to have a lot of fun painting my nails, but I stopped because one, I don't have the time. Two, they chip too fast for me to actually keep it sustainable. The gel nails, like I said, I could wash dishes. I could do household chores and they don't chip. So that's the plus side. So I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to dress my dolls. This is a really like laid back, chill vlog um, because... It's a wet, rainy day. It's like raining out there. And hopefully she can call me and get me in sooner. I don't think she will though, because I think the new year it's gonna be crowded. So I am going to dress my dolls. I said that already. And that's about it. I kind of wanna, see, I was watching Barbie Nation and Barbie Nation has Laguna Blue and I wanna give her a makeover. The only thing is, is that her leg paint chips. So that's something to be concerned about, that her leg paint chips. And if you restyle her, you're gonna risk chipping the paint that, that's on her legs. So I'm kind of hesitant to do that, but I think I'm gonna put Bristol on the shelf. I'm gonna dress her, put her on the shelf, take one doll down. Um, I kind of want my pink doll on my bed. Camilla, I kind of want Camilla on my bed because I just feel like rotating my dolls. So that's all I'm gonna do today. And uh, I will check in later. It's about 1.21. And uh, I'm just gonna sit and do a few dolly things. Mom says I have to deal with it. Okay. Okay, it is 7.02 at night. I got my nails done. And I'll show you this hand. Feels good. Feels good to have them back. Is that gonna focus? Maybe, I don't know. I'm making fish and fries and then I'm gonna dress my dolls. I've been saying that all day, I just haven't. I've been watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos. I love the drama videos. I love Peter Mon and Rich Lux. Um, those are my like favorite people to watch and then um, I was watching some smaller youtubers Just some hauls and things like that But I'm gonna let you guys go because I'm gonna go check on my dinner and Then I'm going to watch TV color dress dolls. I don't know what I'm gonna do World's boringest vlog Hashtag real life. Okay, so I am gonna dress Bristol I'm gonna dress Bristol. I really, really want her in this coat. I love this coat so much. So I'm gonna try and style an outfit around this. Put on a dress that matches. So um, I have all of my coats in there. I'm gonna turn on Netflix right now and you guys all know what I'm watching. There's two seasons of I Am A Killer. And you can read that. So the reason why I've been taking so long to watch that is because I've been watching Peter Mon and Rich Lux. There is some tea going on in the industry and it's great. 
those are commentary channels that I watch. And I know a lot of people don't like Rich Lux because they say he's like, does anything for the views. Of course he does anything for the views. He's just like TMZ, just on a low level. You know, he's entertaining. I'm, I know as an adult watching Rich Lux, I know that sometimes he, um, makes the news bigger than it is and he clickbaits and of course he's doing it for the views and he's going to make it salacious and he's going to, you know, not, he's going to do clickbait titles to get the views. That's what everyone does. Um, so I don't fault him for that. He's like TMZ, like, a like Perez Hilton, you know, he's a commentary channel, a gossip channel, and it's fun to watch. He's not really mean either or vicious. So I like him. So I am going to pick out a dress and then get some earrings and accessories out and fix up Bristol. Look at how cute this is. And I have my heater on, but look at how cute. I've got this. Then I'm going to put this on underneath it with these leggings and I'll pick out some shoes. I'll pick out the shoes after, but let's get to getting. I love dressing my dolls. And this is going to be super fun to put her in a new outfit and put her on the shelf because I think her hair is getting ruined laying on the bed so often. So let's get to getting. Okay, so she is dressed. I don't think I'm going to take a picture for Instagram. I love what she's wearing. It's just that her hair is just, it is not okay. So love what she's wearing. Let me back up a little bit and show you. Look at how cute she looks. I love how she looks. She has a little necklace on. And this is the mess. I'm going to put away her pajamas. But yeah, I'm going to put her on the shelf. I think she looks so cute, though. Look at her. And still watching I Am A Killer. This one isn't that good a story. They're not all that good. Some of them are really good. Some of them, you know, are wrongly convicted. And you have the Innocence Projects getting involved. And yeah, this one is just kind of like whatever. So, let me put away her clothes. This is not acceptable. This is not okay. I absolutely love the way she is dressed. Corinne is just a cutie pie, so she's going to be in my rotation. I'm going to dress Colin. These two are going to be on my bed for a while. I think I'm going to keep her in this. I love this outfit. She looks like such a little girl. Such a sweet little girl. And I love everything about this outfit. I'm going to see what I can dress him in. Something fun, something cute, something boyish. So here is Colin dressed up. He is wearing a rock star uh, t-shirt. And then I put this vest over him, jeans, and some cute little black sneakers. And he just looks really cute and cozy. I love the way she's dressed, but I might change her. Um, she just looks so adorable. And yeah, that's basically it. I think I'm going to let you guys go. It was a very short vlog today. It didn't really do much of anything. And Kleenex as always. So I will let you guys go and I will check in later. Maybe I'll add footage. Maybe I'll add some footage for, for doing anything tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see.